Okay folks, um, your task for today is going to be to create one of these. Okay. Now this is an Amsterdam building sculpture that I made out of a cardboard box. Um, and I want you to do the same basically. Okay. So in this video I'll show you exactly what I want you to do. Uh, take you through it step by step and hopefully you can create something that looks very similar to this, okay? Took me maybe like a couple of hours to do it. Um, again, if you take your time, um, this is, I've made one of these two or three times, so I know what to do. Um, so obviously it'll maybe take you a bit longer. So take your time, um, watch the video, pause it if you need to, um, and do it stage by stage. And hopefully you end up with one of these. It's a waggle. What a good one looks like. I think it looks pretty cool, like, there you go. Okay. Okay, so basically, this is the sculpture. It's inspired by uh, the buildings of Amsterdam. I don't know if you've ever been to Amsterdam, but particularly along the canal, um, these buildings are very uh, ornate. There's a lot of detail in uh, inside the buildings. I'm going to put the source imagery along with the video uh, on Show My Homework so you can get a look at that. Little list of things you're going to need to create your sculpture. Um, you're going to need a box, obviously. Now, this particular box that I used was a test kit for my fish tank, um, just to make sure the water's nice and clean, make sure Nemo's uh, a-okay. What you can do is you can find any cardboard box that works really, but these sort of shaped boxes that are tall, quite thin, um, are perfect. This is some hay fever uh, medicine. I've got here a box. I've got this one here. This is a um, little mini tripod that I'm using to put my camera, my phone on to record this video. Um, it's also got a similar shape. It's quite tall and thin. And obviously that's the kind of shape that we're looking for because the buildings in Amsterdam are, particularly along the canal, are quite tall and thin. So that's perfect shape and size. Obviously it doesn't have to be um, exactly the same size. Obviously this one's a bit bigger, this one's a bit smaller. I've chose to use this one just for a change for me. It's a little bit wider but I can fit two buildings in the wider sections, one building in the thinner sections. What are good uh, boxes to use? Things like Zaflora, um, disinfectant boxes, medication boxes uh, are often that shape. You could even use something like a um, if you want to do it a little bigger, you could use maybe a cereal box, uh, something like that. Make sure you ask before you go and take and you start rubbishing about the cupboards and take in your mum's or your granny's uh, good cleaning up boxes, all that sort of stuff. So that is what we're trying to get to. Just another wee tip, um, in terms of boxes, good things to use are, or things that I've used in the past that work really well um, is toothpaste boxes, perfect size and shape. Um, if you can't, like I say, if you can't get a toothpaste box, just try and get any box that's that sort of similar size and shape. Um, toothpaste boxes, soap boxes, things like that. Um, even stuff that has like perfume or aftershave in it. Um, these, these sort of boxes work, work very well. You're going to take your box and you're going to deconstruct it. So most of these boxes have uh, a little seam along one corner of the box. So along here, and I've just got a pair of scissors and cut and unfolded it like so. so. You've got this side is the side you're not going to use, but on this side you've got beautiful cardboard you can draw on. Take your cardboard, place it on a flat surface, table, floor, doesn't matter. If you're outside, sitting on the grass, get a book, place it on a nice flat surface and that's what you're going to work on. And what I want you to do first is I want you to take your cardboard and I want you to very quickly sketch out the basic um, the basic details of the building in each section. So this particular bit of cardboard has got one, two, three, four sections and I'd like you to draw one building from the source imagery into each um, side of the cardboard. Right guys, once you've done that, what you're going to do next is once you've got the basic shapes put in, You've got the windows put in, you've got the doors put in, any ornate 
details in the brickwork um, or the doors or the windows. I want you to add that. Draw pretty um, lightly with your pencil. It can be quite sketchy, it doesn't have to be too perfect. Do not use a ruler, whatever you do. I don't want you to use a ruler. If you use a ruler, it tends to make your building look very flat and it doesn't look realistic. So when you're doing this, try and do it freehand. Um, I don't want you uh, using a ruler. I used the ruler, but the only reason I used the ruler was on this wider part of my box. I've drawn a straight line so I can tell the difference where each building is going to go in here. So I want this size and this size to be the same size. Okay, all the windows, all the doors, all the details, I did that freehand, you see it in the video. Um, make sure you try and do it freehand. It does look better when it's freehand. If you try and do it with a ruler, it's going to look very flat and not realistic.